channel. Today we're going to take a look at two BoxyCharm November 2019 boxes that came in today. Yes, I got my PR box and one of my regular boxes and you're going to be in for a surprise just like I was. So, if you're interested in taking a look at my boxes and seeing a try-on of these products, stay tuned! Okay guys, yes, I got two boxes in. We're going to take a look at both of them uh, and see what I got in each. One was my PR and one is a regular box. I'm not sure which is which. I will find out the weight of the boxes and put it in the description area if you are interested in knowing uh, and comparing your shipping label to mine. That way you can see if yours weighs the same, you're probably getting these products. So I didn't look at them yet. I will have them to put under the video. Okay, let's take a look at this first box and look at these new boxes. You see the difference? They're about the same thickness, but this one is a lot taller and wider. Well, let's see how wide this one is. Yes, it's wider and taller, but about the same thickness. So you can put a lot, you know, quite a bit more in this box than the other ones. We'll take a look at this box first. Okay, I just picked one, so we're just gonna go with it. Okay, in this first box, remember our theme is stellar. So in this first box, what I see right off the bat is the pretty vulgar complexion pack for the concealer. I'm very happy to get this. This one will be very easy for me because the lightest shade is what I always go with. There's only four to pick, which makes it very easy. So I will be going with the lightest one, um, which is Little White Lies. It's for fair. Okay. Okay, let's start with our box. Let's open it up and see what's inside. Now, the first thing I see is the Celestial Thunder Palette. This is the eight pan palette we have been waiting for. Mine has already been opened because the eye look I'm wearing, you'll see in a moment. This is the eight colors. Now, let me tell you what I thought before you even see my look. Um, let me swatch these for you real quick, like. Okay, we have Eternal Light, then Fireball, Black Matter, and Zero Gravity. That is this last one. Now, you're not going to see the first one. Eternal Light. I had so much trouble with this shade. This is not a heavily metallic shade. It's more of a topper shade. I wet it. I did everything possible. Could not get it to show. I mean, I'm digging deep trying to get this to show in my hand and it just not, it's hard. It's more of just a little bit shimmer, a little shimmer, real light shimmer. That is more of a, a topper. And even as a topper, it just changes it slightly. And these three, especially this one, Fireball, is very metallic. Now, we're going to move on to the next matte row. Just like I did this, this Storm does. Very pigmented. That's that beautiful pink shade. Then, Lucid Dreams is a beautiful terracotta, terracotta orange color. Love it. Like a rust. Then, the last two is... Her shades are very hard, real, not soft at all. So this one is Lunar Eclipse and Mystic Ice, the green shade. Now her mattes, very pigmented, really easy to use. That one shimmer shade, I don't like it at all. I don't like it at all. And that's the one I used in my inner corner, about a fourth of my lid, uh, that Eternal Light shade, this one here. It's too hard, just not enough payoff to do anything. Even as a topper, it's not good. These other shimmers aren't that bad on the top row, but um, you'll see when you go to use this one. 
Now remember, this palette is the Celestial Celestial Thunder. It's a baby version of the Celestial Storm that she has out now. The difference is the uh, other palette, the Storm one, has four more shades some purples and so if you really like this palette you may get the other one but if you have this one I don't think you'd want the other one you have basically uh, most of the shades so and that palette is valued at $35 moving on to the Kypress antioxidant dew quench and glow serum this is what it looks like the packaging a nice gold box I'm getting shade everywhere then when you open it up I did put this on my face I put it uh, after my moisturizer because I had already put my moisturizer on it's a beautiful blue bottle this sells for $90 and it's basically a moisturizer is what it is it says antioxidant okay and it's got so much good things in it you know it's, it'll really help your skin out so this would be very good for all skin types okay then our third my third product product in this box is from dose of colors what I have on my lips right now isn't it beautiful I love it love it love it it's called date night and I really don't need to swatch it because I'm wearing it, but this is what it looks like. I love Dose of Colors. Um, I don't like real dry liquid lips, and this brand I find is the best. Um, it's a matte feeling on the lips, but it's not where it dries and cracks all your lips up. Let me put a swatch on the back of this hand, but you can see it on my lips, but I'll put a little bit. It's just gorgeous. Um, and you, these are so just pigmented and beautiful. Okay, and these are valued at, let's see, you can get one of four if you get this, or you could get the Becca uh, highlighter in its place. But the Dose of Color Lippy is worth $18. Then we've got a Starry Eyed Pop Mask Set of Two by Pop Band is the um, brand. And this is a heating eye mask. Looks like this. I'm not gonna open it because it will activate it if I do open it. And you get two of these. And with these, uh, you would use them before bedtime, or if you have a migraine headache, they say these are great for that. It's a warming eye mask that hydrates your eyes. You connect it behind your ears, and uh, you usually do it before bedtime, they said. And it just hydrates and relaxes and gets the blood flowing around your eyes. I would do it after I uh, cleanse my face moisturize get everything done and then I would sit there with that on there um, can't wait to try it and that is let's see four products what did I get for my fifth product y'all are not gonna believe this Ta -da! for Zali what does it mean am I getting it is this an era who knows <laughs> I have no clue. I have no clue. But I got the Farzali spray. And this is a four in one spray. You'll see in the, the demonstration, I did put it on as a setting spray. Uh, you can use it to hydrate your skin. You can use it as a setting spray. And you can also use it on a bare face just to get a glow. So that's. Uh, I put it under my makeup, I used it as a setting spray, I used it to hydrate, and on a bare face you can use it. So you can use this four ways. Be careful though, make sure your eyes are closed because it's a warning. Uh, I want all my Bendy Babes to not damage their eyes. Make sure your eyes are closed and shake the bottle very well. So that is the Farzali spray. That is my first box. I think this is probably my PR box. 
Who knows? I have no clue. <laughs> and the, uh, the Farzali spray is valued at $39. And if you add all of these up, the value of this first box is $192. $192. Now let's move over to box number two. Looks just like the other box, all the same. When I open it up, it looks just like this. And the first thing is the eyeshadow palette. Well, first of all, I see a Becca foundation complexion, complexion uh, swatch. Let me show you what colors I was sent. Do y'all think these colors are my colors? I mean, look at my, do you think that'll match? Maybe if I'm trying to contour. So I need to figure what I have to do to get this rectified, but I will know, uh, I may do a video just on what to do with these swatches and what to do if you get the wrong swatch. I just wanted to come on and do my unboxing before I figured all this out just to get it up. But yeah, I was sent the wrong shades. And I know I did the right quiz. The quiz was right, but anyways, let's move on. I do have one more Celestial Thunder palette. That's worth $30. The second option is I got another Kypris moisturizing, anti-aging moisturizing skin. I do have another Kypris anti-aging dew quench serum. And it looks just like the other one. This one just hasn't been opened yet. I did, and this was worth $90. The next item on the list is the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector Pressed Highlighter. This is the box, and I was so excited. As you can see, it might say it right up here, no? Yes, it does. I received Champagne Pop. Now, how could they have the, there's a hair. How could they have picked the right highlighter but yet the wrong foundation. I was wondering, so I don't know. I think it's just a mistake. But if you open up the highlighter, it's so beautiful. I have one just like this, but I cracked it and it's a different shade, but um, let's see. I have that one as my highlight and on my inner corners of my eyes. Right here. Oh, you can see it on my hand. Well, no, not really. A little bit when I move my hand. Just so beautiful. I think actually Jaclyn Hill is the one who created this color a uh, long time ago with a collaboration with Becca Cosmetics. And it has been one of their best selling colors for a long time. This uh, highlighter is valued at $38. Wow. Next I have the Tula Skincare Star Power Nourishing and Brightening Cosmic Hydrogel Mask Set of Two. And these are right here. I get two of them. Wow, these are heavy. They look like this. I'm happy to get these. And then I have the eye mask as another option. These masks are valued at, these masks also have 2% of salicylic acid in them to clear up acne, prevent breakouts. These masks are really good. If you've had prior acne, it'll help clear up any prior acne scars. Might not get rid of it totally, but it'll help to blend it in a little bit more. It'll help acne. So these are some very good masks. If you have oily, acne prone skin, these are very, very good. Now, if you have dry skin like I do, you might not be able to do these too often because it will clear up a lot of the oil uh, if you produce a lot of oil on your skin. So, but I'm, I'm glad to have these guys. And the uh, last item is the two-piece brush set. These two brushes are, this is 
a larger brush that you could use for creams or powder and it's you can use it for what you want to use it for but it's like a powder brush this one is a foundation brush I used both of these in my demonstration which I'm going to show you next finally a little bit uh, tight this one I used for my foundation this one I used for the powder but after I put my foundation on, I always press in my powder and this shape and the the, uh, um, the compactness of the bristles is great for that. I love the shape. I love that they're different and these are BoxyCharm brand brushes. So I think we'll be seeing more of these. Now, let's see the total of this. Well, the two brushes are valued at $35 expensive brushes now the total of this box is valued at two hundred and twenty dollars yay that's a good box so guys let me with without further ado let me show you my try on
I'll be right back. Let me put some liner on and some mascara. Okay, and this is the finished look. I put some Thrive mascara on and I put the lipsticks that they sent me, Love Letter, and I want to spray some of this Forzali setting spray. Remember, it's a four in one. We can use it for four different things and you shake it real well. Six to eight inches away from your face. Be careful of your eyes. And here we go. There we go. We just gotta let it dry. All right, guys. Remember, we have our giveaway going on right now. It's the Jeffree Star Shane Dawson giveaway. And that video will be coming up soon. I redid it. And I just wanted to explain how to set it to public because things keep changing. So I will have that up soon, but this video does include in November, you know that. Thank y'all so much for watching. I will be coming up with some more videos this week because there's several specific dates and items and so much y'all need to know. Um, and just keep watching, make sure your notification bell is on. Please share this with all your families and friends because I'd love to meet them. Remember, we have our lives weekly. So thanks again for, for watching. I really appreciate it. And until next video, you take care. Love you guys. Mwah. Bye.